Now that we've walked through the add and relist actions, we want to work through an example of how to edit products in bulk. Before we show you how to set up the file, let's first talk about how the workflow would be altered for ease of use. First, we are going to do a data export of just the fields we are interested in using our export tool. We can then update those fields and the final two steps are exactly the same as before. Upload the files and check the results. So first we need to export our items. We are going to start with the export tab. First we will search for our items of interest. In this case a set of centering sleeves with a price less than $90. We are going to be looking for products and including only certain fields. Now we want to select the fields we want and click export the results. When the export is done, click to download the file and open it up. So here we already have the column headers we need, but we are going to need an action column on the front, so let's insert a new column. This time we are going to use action equals edit. Now as you can see we downloaded both the GUID and the SKU. Since we only need one identifier, we can delete the SKU since the GUID is preferred. And we still have a product identifier in the second column. Now we can edit the stock by using the functionality of Excel such as copy and paste to update all the stock values quickly. We can also use the functionalities such as formulas to calculate prices. Say we just want to adjust all of our prices downward by 10%. We would set up our formula and then copy it down to cover the rest of the products. We can then copy the new values into the prices column. Be sure to paste them as values only so as not to copy the formula over. Now we want to clean up the rest of the file for columns we don't need. We don't need the formula for our price change, nor do we need the title since we aren't changing the information, so we can delete both columns. With our data all cleaned up, our edit file is ready, so use Save As and select CSV. Then go back to the Bulk Upload tab and choose the file you want to use. In this case, we are going to update the information on SureDone, but not push the new data to any of our channels, so we are going to check the Skip All Channels button before clicking Upload. This, as expected, takes us back to the Results tab, where we can wait for our results file. Once it is ready, we can download it and open it up. As you can see, our set flag is skip sync, so no information was sent to the channels. But the edit in SureDone was successful, so we are done with our bulk edit.